Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to day 70 of commercial diving school. Today was the last day of underwater welding week and I got my second opportunity to dive and weld underwater. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and leave any comments or questions for me down below. So uh, like I said, I got to dive for a second time today and it was awesome. Like everything was pretty much perfect. Like the weather was a little cooler. I got to dive first thing in the morning. Um, the sky was like beautiful. Like just everything was just really nice. Um, and I got to use the Kirby Morgan hat today. Um, and it's a little bit different setup than the Gorski that I was using. The first time I got to dive this week, um, the setup is like the welding shield is only like half um, of the viewport. So basically it just goes up over here. So you can kind of see down here, um, but it shields your eyes um, with the little uh, shield that uh, kind of goes down um, on the Kirby Morgan. So for my dive, I jumped in and um, got set up and everything like that. Um, I even have some welds to show you guys uh, to kind of show you what I'm talking about when it comes to the flat plate and then the, um, the project. Uh, but uh, today, um, usually the Kirby Morgans, um, they actually kind of like float off your head a little bit, but that's if you don't have a good Snoopy. And Snoopy is another term they use for the cushioning that's inside the hat. Um, and I'm not sure why they call it Snoopy, but that's just their nickname. They give the, the lining of the hat and you can interchange the lining. Um, you can actually add more padding to the lining. Um, but today, I don't know why, but the lining was just perfect. Like it didn't slide off my head. I was perfectly weighted down so I wasn't like swaying or I didn't have to hold myself down. Um, just everything was just so good. I was diving in the clear tank. Um, so everything was super clear. I got more uh, GoPro footage so everything just worked out perfect. It was just an awesome dive and um, I was just like, you know what, like this is underwater welding week. This is the week that everyone looks forward to. I would be willing to bet majority of everybody this is the reason why they're coming to school and this is today was literally the reason why you know people are paying this money to go to school was days like today so that's how great today was it was just awesome and I mean that's why it's so great to dive but anyways um so today we were working on vertical welds um, and basically I set up my plate um, in the vise and um, basically here's what the plate looks like it's just a regular um, you know square plate and we we're basically pointing the rod up at an angle and then basically the rod goes down so let me kind of explain that for a minute so pretend my finger is the rod um, you'd basically start at the top of the plate and you don't even have to like move your hand down like you normally would when you're topside welding you basically just like hold the rod and basically since it's at an angle it's gonna be you all you have to do is keep pushing in and it's basically gonna consume itself and travel down as you're pushing it in so as the rod is consuming itself it's traveling down the plate itself so that's why vertical welding is actually the easiest to do for underwater welding and i heard from one instructor today that um, it's probably the most common thing you're going to see is vertical welds and underwater welding. Um, also, I wanted to mention uh, that I was using 7014 rods today. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's fine. But just know that I was using, on the first day I was underwater welding, back on Tuesday, um, I was using 6013s, which my welds looked horrible like terrible 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 like they did not turn out very good like at all but 
when I was using 70 14 rods it it actually looked decent like it actually looked like an actual weld um, which um, is way better than the 60 13 so just to let you guys know 70 14 is a lot better it's gonna look a lot cleaner and all that stuff so um, and then for the project this is what I mean by the project so if you can I don't know if you guys can tell but this is like see how this plate is about two inches wide um, there's a bunch of these plates like tacked together so you got this plate and then you got one here one here one here and one here and it's basically five of these uh, two inch wide plates welded together and it basically makes that shape so you have three flat and two that make a T on it and that's what we did when we were top side welding we basically tacked a bunch of these together so that we when we go to underwater weld we have projects to weld and we have about eight there's about eight grooves on this project that you can weld so you can weld here 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 four five six seven and then eight um, so you have eight chances and I know this thing is pretty rusted that's just what happens when you're dealing with water and metal but um, if you can tell this this it this doesn't look too bad this weld right here I think this was the very first one that I did right here um, and then it and it didn't turn out too well but um, these turned out okay there's actually one kind of decent one and I think the the last one I did I think this one was the last one that I did um, and then I had two um, like bubbled up like high spots they're not bubbled up but they're like little high or a little um, imperfections but um, yeah that's the basically the project I'm pretty happy with how it turned out from starting from absolutely nothing to being able to actually kind of sort of weld uh, root together so I'm pretty happy about that I wish it didn't look so rusted but um, I mean what can you do but anyways um, yeah I made I took a bunch of uh, video footage with my GoPro so I'm gonna be editing all that together and uploading that so if you're interested in seeing that um, definitely check that out but um, yeah that was basically today we after I was done we got a few more guys in to finish up their welds and everything um, and then we pretty much cleaned up for the rest of the day um, and got done with that so that pretty much concludes underwater welding um, like I said we have one week to do it um, and it's just the kind of the pinnacle like I, I like to say of school and um, I've just been looking forward to it for a long time and now I got to finally do it and it's here and now it's already gone so we're down to our last two weeks of our senior module and then we're already going down to Ocala um, I think yeah in two weeks so um, yeah we're almost done with everything but let me let me know if you guys have any questions about underwater welding or any more questions about what we did this week for underwater welding um, if you're you know curious about um, how we set up or what type of you know equipment we're using or anything like that um, or just what the general day consists of like if you guys have any questions on your guys mind that you want to know about uh, definitely let me know but also if you're curious about the rods or what dipping rods are or why you do that or anything like that or curious about the project just anything and everything that you can think of just let me know um, but that's all I have for this video you guys if you like this video please leave a like um, subscribe if you haven't already um, thank you guys so much for watching this video um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet Leave a like if you enjoy this video. Leave any comments or questions for me down below. And I hope you guys have a great one. I will see you in the next video. Peace.